Scott's brother's place after the show. There was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. So, what do we have here? Take first. So, do 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 do. Uh, we have added to the backpack items. O five O one. To open, turn first number right three times. Oh, wow. Well. They have a Ouija board here. Um, like that. Hello? Hello. Who are you? Oscar. What do you want? To come. That's creepy. And I. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Um, uh, o five o one. O five o one. Cigarettes? Are you kidding me? Those are bad for your health, man. Here we have Lani. Was it Lani who were in the military photo? Lani came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Yep. <laughs> that's what I thought. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in the first period and it's in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I thought liar. Li I thought I decided. Write me back. Also, there's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What are you do cool kids actually doing sending each other pages on their beepers? But uh, we're way cooler than them because guess what? They can't put on this this on a beeper. Your drawing of cats is so good that I wanted to add a background to make it even better. Maybe I should... Just stick to the writing. Ha, ah, I like it. How did you know that there was about to be abducted by aliens? I'm looking for Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would uh, probably have a lot of cats. Also, I like the secret... Sh his secret shame is... His secret shame is he watches Gosl... When I know one to one... <laughs> Gosl... And I know too, I know religiously. I'll ask him about it after the class. He said he doesn't have cats, so I also think he's never watched 90210, but I could 
see it in his eye or did he was lying? La 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 yeah. Off to the basement. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. I don't know why I am singing on this song. Dum 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 dum. Off to the basement. Basement, here we come. But yeah, I but I have the key, man. Isn't this basement? No, it's not the basement. I'm sorry, folks. It's not the basement. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe the everyone's just lying dead down there. That would be a twist plot of the story if I ever knew one. <laughs> There we go. What? Hello. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoy the flavorful potatoes. And also, it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny. How impossible it is for your dad to not be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially, yours, yours close friend and confident, Bonnie Lee. A fancy man, quite. Dear Mr. Sato, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you for the kind, for being such a, now, for, in kind, for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate. Following the aforementioned meal with my parents, your family's Thanksgiving feast was more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciated the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again, same time next year, shall we? Indeed, Madame Samantha Greenbrier. Uh, yeah. Potato ships. P -p -p potato ships that mix it all. It's my potato ships. Examine drawing. Oh, damn. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around. Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. So what's this? Isn't this the same? Is this the actually one, the one she turned in? No one starts to develop other almost about me line of uterus. This is just... No, this is from Caitlin. This is from us. Oh, so she got the same assignment, but apparently she was a bit more. Uh, well, her fantasy was a bit more out there, so to speak. Open it. I want to burn down the house. I do not want to live in this world anymore. My sister is gone and I don't know what to do. Fuck it. It's a huge fucking basement. Oh, well, that's weird, having a lamp like that. Grandad's books. Read college. Congratulations, I'm pleased to inform Stop, stop, stop it. Qu I'm pleased to inform you that your admission to the creative writing track of Reed Col College Summer Program 
for young scholars for its 1995 session. We believe they contribute more. Yeah. So again, contribution of admission of best wishes. So she got into college. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. <laughs> 